So um, right there, if it was running towards you, what happens is one leg's back. Goes forward. Excuse me. Hello. Okay. Sure. Mm hmm I like that drawing, so I'm not going to go over it. So there is actually where I'm pushing this leg back. Everything's under her. She's in mid, mid gallop, right? But really, that spine is so key, you know? And just because I, look, I laid in, like, um, a sphere for the, for the head, and this is where the, behind the um, her actual uh, shoulder girdle is, but you want to connect them. So even though it's that much of foreshortening, you've got to get a little bit of a neck in it, okay? However you, you show is up to you. Eyes, I think, are actually kind of spread from the part. Now, when I see your guys' drawings, I want to see you account for it. I, you know, I'm not, you know, being an artist, and we're not an account. We don't just show our work all the time. So, but when I'm trying to teach you guys, I want to see some construction. Just because I'm actually doing it this way, just because I'm trying to use as little, little, little line as possible. <laughs> Yours are usually set pretty low to you know, wide out. You can see how actually they have a big zygomatic arch there. Mm. I know. She's like, leave me alone. This is the most movement she's had in years. Though. And I bet dad's not allowed out here. They usually, they usually split them up. And sometimes kind of nice with ears and stuff, you can kind of kind of give a break and you hear like a chew out of it. Oh, yeah. you know, that's one of those things that adds character. The, um, I notice sometimes um, when I'm drawing animals, I understand like, you know, the, uh, the torso shapes, but sometimes the uh, positioning of the legs, I don't understand. What's a good way to learn that? Um, Watch, <laughs> watch a lot of video, you know, the animals in motion videos. Yeah. That's a plug for Rhino House, you guys owe me some money. Um, <laughs> And uh, yeah, the Rhino House is great because they because it, it um, you know loops the videos together and it's just such a great thing for artists. You guys don't know that video that's made by Rhino House called Animals in Motion. They're great DVDs. And I just try to hold it up for people so they can see it a little bit. More. So it's gonna be hard. It's definitely gonna fall. Um, I can't even see him, so I'm just kind of not figuring it out. But just right now, trying to add more of the print. You know. hide that leg. That point there is so necessary though. What I did right there, what is that? That's the ankle. Okay? So by giving it that, as opposed to just putting a straight leg, that indicates that the leg is picked up and pushed forward. Because it's galloping, the front legs kick off the back. So as the front legs are coming back, um, uh, they will be kicked off the, uh, the back legs. Okay? So these actually have to be coming forward if these are going back. Right? That's a correct pose. Right? Because she was in mid lead, I'll probably... So what happens is that one was probably touching the ground just last. Let's see how shaggy it is. Sorry, Coco. So now it's more of a down shot, so I'm just gonna because I'm gonna down shot you're probably gonna get a little bit of the, the quarter, hind quarters from the other shoulder girl from the other side. Okay. I'm going to move it for the sake of the paper, but it's kind of crouched a little bit. So. 
about the ground plane here too. So. And I'm gonna move this forward. Maybe what she's doing, maybe she's playing with the water or something. So the paws turned in a little bit. And when they walk, you can see how they walk like that, right? It's like yeah. the turning super into quite a bit. Yeah. And once, once again, I have my, even with myself, I have to cap, cast, uh, catch myself to observe a lot more than I can do. Yeah. Yeah. There's actually patterning, it's almost like, like Carl said once, it's almost like following the brain pattern, that's actually how it's going here. So the same thing on a tiger, um, same thing on leopard and jaguars. focused on it, but, but, you know, not being too arbitrary either. I really wouldn't put the tail that way, I'm just trying to slam it in the picture. Like, reality is probably actually, you know, actually, in retrospect, I would probably turn it that way. Probably work a lot better. Two tails. <laughs> well, I wanted to get that organic curl in there, so I'll just... It's a good fix. <laughs> Sorry if the guys is cutting into the Komodo dragon stuff, but I think this will help you uh, just to see a quick sketch. So you never even knew that tail was there. All right, so guys, this is what I did for the a lot for the quick sketch um, idea, where I just kind of did a lot more loose um, and actually really just kind of went for went for the action more than anything. I didn't pay a lot of attention to detail, but there's still a lot of structure in there. Okay. Any questions? No. Would you have been able to do that if you didn't, weren't already familiar? Well, I'm familiar, yeah, I mean, it take, comes with time to be able to do that, but what you guys got to see me actually approach was what lines I went for first. Um, you know, the first bit of drawings that I ever did like this, woo, Transformers, um, ever did like this was, uh, they were, me oh, totally messy, lines everywhere, you know, and that's why it's good to work with pen and brush pen and stuff, because your line efficiency gets better over time. Um, but yeah, little knowledge of structure goes a long way. So putting in the time in the anatomy, you know. So, but this is kind of trying to show you. I'm just here to kind of give you guys the tools and show you where you're at. I'm not, I mean, you got to be crazy to walk out of here and think you're just going to be an expert at drawing animals without putting in a little bit of time, you know. I'm here just to give you the tools and the methods and approaches to actually, you know, um, to get you to that point. So yes, it helps knowing a little bit of structure beforehand, especially dealing with jungle cats, you know. But um, if you just put in a little bit of time, you know, you too can be drawn like this, it's not that hard. But this was more of an approach to see what lines I, sh I attack when it's moving, okay? I was trying to show you guys go for the spine a lot, you know, especially with cats. Um, you know, I definitely work for where the positioning of the legs are, you know? The proportions are off and, you know, there's a lot of things that are not really working so much. But it's, um, but at the same time, the action there, the essence of the animal is there. Cool? Great. Thanks.